Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode on Tactical Fun. I'm George. Um, I've lost about 30 pounds now, so so we're here to talk about my carry gun. It is a uh, Glock 48 MOS, and more importantly, my experience I've had with the Shield Arms magazine. I have like 20 of them. So we're at a 5,000 round point with these magazines. So I'll talk about it in a minute. We're going to show you something new. Or I'm going to. I keep saying we. Who's we? My cat's here. That's we. So this is empty, empty. Empty, empty. All right. This is one of the newer Zev OZ9 models. This is gray PVD, limited edition. I think this is only at Bass Pro Shops, but Cabela's might have it as well because it's the same company. So... You don't get the red dot or the light, so that's a uh, HE508TGR. It's the green one with the EOTech type deal on it. So there's that. So one cool thing about this, this is the regular sights that come with it. The pocket is cut deep enough where you can coat this with the factory sights, like the shadow systems. It's over there. Never mind. Pretend you've seen it. You've seen it before. It's over there. I'm not getting it. So, gray PVD slide, gray PVD uh, fire control group or frame or whatever they're calling it, a la SIG, a la Brett APX, a la Baba? I don't know. So, you get that. You get the different frames you could get. It comes with their trigger. It's not great. Uh, their regular trigger that you buy and put in like the custom Glock scene that seems to be dying for some reason. I'm like way into it again and it's like gone away but so there's that there's their dimpled barrel uh, thread protector it'll get a muzzle break because I'm a rolling special kind of guy but so you take one pin off this whole frame comes off you could get an extended one a short one but one of the downfalls is unlike the SIG you can't put a full size on here so you get there's only three sizes for the compact and then you have to buy a whole other gun for the full size they do make another slide that makes it 17 size slide on a 19 grip, which is kind of cool, but it's another like $500. Uh, when you get a different grip, you pop the pin out, the magwell comes off, put the magwell on your other one, blah, 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 blah. So that's the OZ9. We'll talk about that later. It comes with two P mags, $1,900, two $8 magazines. Here's the one I'm working on, so custom Glock thing. So this is OD Green. It has a laser stipple, but I don't like it, so I'm going to stipple stipple it like I used to. If anyone remembers me before my original Instagram was banned, I was way into the custom Glock thing and all that. So it has the uh, Overwatch Precision Trigger. I got the extended stuff already on it. It's already Cerakoted, OD Green. But I'm going to take this finger nub off here with the quarter inch wheel and I'm going to use a 20 line per inch stimple all the way up and it'll get a magwell and then I already got this slide and all that. But there's that. There's another project you'll see. I won't be able to show you any of that because I'll get kicked off this channel. Should I t I'm still working on this light thing so I'm still learning if I should tip it up or not. Hey there's an LMT. What's up there? Oh there's a Geisley or something up there. But there's that. All right, back to the point of the video. I haven't made a video in a little while, so I'm yammering. So unloaded. This is unloaded. Just trying to show you my carry setup. So this holster I actually bought on Amazon one night for like fifty dollars, and it's I've had it for over a year now, and it is amazing. I don't remember who makes it, but uh, maybe I'll figure that out and leave a link. But it was like fifty bucks. And it has the wing and the, for the light and it's adjustable and it has all good hardware and it's it's lasted so this is IWB holster so there's no ammo no ammo <laughs> anyways so there's that these are the shield arms magazines let's talk about my carry pistol Hollow Sun 507K X2. This is will be getting the new EPS as soon as it's available. Um, I am a Hollow Sun dealer, so but I wish they'd give me a little bit of a discount. But 
I have 800 followers, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll, I'll pay for it. So this will get the EPS, but this has been fantastic. I have the Amerigo Hackathon, I think they are, the, the orange one with the blacked out rear with one dot, but these are good. I have the TLR7 sub, fantastic, it's bright. I actually was just using it outside the other night because it sounded like somebody was attacking my ducks. So I was actually using that outside and it was good. Um, Apex trigger, Apex connector. So, if you listen. So very positive reset. And then I have it about four and a half pounds because of the carry gun, so, but reset. Right there. So you see how far it come out? It's not the greatest. It's no CZ or something, but and then the brake is four and a half pounds, five pounds. So that's what I carry. Anyways, that's not even the point of the video. So let's get to these fellers. So these are the Shield Arms S15 magazines. There's a Gen 2 sitting around here, but these are all Gen 1s. So I have like 20 of these. That includes the Gen 2, which I haven't even used yet. But um, I have some with the plus fives on them. I don't really use, I don't carry these. These are just for the range because there's like a, a gappy thing. And plus it looks ridiculous, look at this. This looks silly. And it's all wobbly and then there's a gap and it's not great. And this was very, these are expensive. So I don't normally carry these, but they work very well. There's no feeding problem. It's machined very well. And uh, no problem at all. Very good at the range for practicing with your carry gun, but I wouldn't carry them. So anyways, so here's a 15 rounder. So if anyone who doesn't know who's new here or new to the world, they've been out for a long time, this gun's been out a long time, if you just fell out the womb or whatever. So this is normally 10 round magazine. I don't even think I have any anymore. I got rid of them because they're stupid. But uh, you put the shield arms, aluminum or steel or whatever it is, mag catch in because it'll wear out the plastic one and then you get 15 rounds and, and it's still pretty wobbly, not the greatest thing in the world. They feed perfectly even with the wobbly dobbly. And then there's this little gap here that pinches your finger, but besides that, they're pretty good. So this is a 48, so it's Glock 19 size. This is, this is technically the size of a Glock 19. So yeah, there's a lot of money in my hand. But it's the... Slide is the same length. It's much thinner. I mean, the OZ9 is thicker anyway, I think, but... It's about the same size as a Glock 19, same capacity, but... Much thinner package. Anyways, so I've had no problems at all with these. And this is 5,000 rounds, and I carry them all the time, every day. They're, I'm sweating on them. There's my downstairs pieces are against them. There's no problem. So, do recommend. There's a video on here of a guy that likes to shoot tires in his class on accident in the parking lot that says there's had a lot of problems in this. So I went to one of his classes and didn't have any problems with these. So anyways, if anybody knows anybody at Shield Arms, I'd really like to try the Magwell. But I'm not paying $75 for something I've never seen in my life and no one I know owns. So if somebody could get me like a dealer discount or one I could borrow or something, I'd like to give you feedback on that. But until next time, please subscribe. I'd love to have a thousand followers um, when my barrel gets back from T. Wilson. We're going to try that Sierra 556. Um, there's some outdoor ranges we're going to. I know I haven't posted any shooting videos lately, but we're gonna. Oh, what else I got floating around here? New Delica 4. I am a Spider Co. dealer, so I got that for a good price. Giving that a try. Um, everyone does the little flipper dipper with the middle finger, and I almost cut my hand off every time, so I am not coordinated enough for that. But if somebody can teach me how to do that, that'd be fantastic. Anything so? Oh, one more thing. So this is the new Xeno mount. I got the Sierra with the Xeno loop. So this will be going on every one of the rifles, the 5.56 rifles for me to try on the different firearms. Right now I am using the SIG SR 5.56 QD, which is my favorite suppressor. So it has to do better than this. So this is the coolest thing because it looks like a regular flash hider. It has ports all the way around, which kind of sucks. But I think it's because of the suppressor for the gas to come out. 
but it's a uh, left hand thread and it has a tapers. It has a tapers. Kevin loves the tapers. Kevin makes the uh, annoying comments on the uh, Instagram, but he likes the tapers. But there's the Xeno. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, share, make fun of me, I don't care. See you later.